What I'd like to cover in this recording is the syntax for using if and if else in NetLogo. And we'll start with the with the syntax for if over here. And here is where we we place the test. The test is any kind of expression that will result in uh, something being true or something being false. And if it's true, then the net logo commands inside these square brackets, this open square bracket over here and close square bracket over here, will be executed. Uh, and then net logo will go on to execute net logo commands underneath it. If the test at the at the point at which it is executed it turns out to be false, then these commands in the square brackets are simply skipped and not done. And we go on again to executing the net logo commands underneath uh, or beyond the closing square bracket for the if. So take a look at this example. It turns out that if we give this set of commands to a turtle, that turtle will take a look at its own x score and check whether its x score is greater than zero. If it turns out to be greater than zero, then that turtle will set itself to red and put its pen down. And then it will go on and move forward five steps. But if it turns out that the uh, that its x coordinate is not less than not greater than zero, excuse me, uh, if it is less than or equal to zero, then it will skip the set color and the pd commands. In fact, it will not it will not turn itself to red, and it will not put its pen down. Um, but it will also go on beyond the the square bracket that belongs to the if and move forward five steps. Now, in order to construct a test like this, you need to do you need to use uh, comparison commands like the greater than, and you need variables to compare to other variables or other numbers. And here are the various uh, comparison operators in NetLogo. There's the equal sign. An exclamation mark followed by an equal sign means not equals. Greater than greater than followed by an equal sign means greater than or equal to then less than and less than or equal to these are the comparison usually numerical comparison uh, operators but you can use them to compare um, other things like whether one variable contains a word that another variable also contains for instance you might want to use the equal sign for these two characters, the not equal and the greater than or equal to and the less than or equal to, must be right next to each other. But one of the rules is that you must have a space around the comparison operator. Okay? Uh, you can also group logical comparisons with and, and, or, and not. Um, well, I'll give an example of that a little bit later. So let's take a look at now the other kind of um, test, which is the if-else. Again, a test over here. That test can be complicated or simple. But it must result ultimately in a true or false resulting from the comparisons and the ands and ors and nots, whatever it takes to resolve or evaluate the entire test. If a test turns out to be true, then there's a set of square brackets inside of which there are a set of commands that the that the turtle or whoever you give these commands to will execute. And if the test turns out to be false, then the second square set of square brackets will contain commands that you will execute. Exactly one of these two sets will be executed. And then, in either case, you will go on to more net logo commands. Here's the example. Again, the turtle is asked whether his x coordinate is greater than zero, and if it is, he sets himself to red and put his, puts his pen down. But if it turns out that his x score is not greater than zero, then he sets his, himself to green, uh, picks his pen up, and sets his size to three. And that's because this group of commands here is between the first set of square brackets and this between the second set of square brackets. In any case, no matter which of these two gets executed, the turtle will go on and move forward five steps and turn right by 30 degrees. Here are some more complicated tests uh, where we can actually com compare several things to each other. We can ask whether um, it's, his x coordinate is less than 12 and at the same time his y coordinate is greater than 30 and then we can execute some commands here. Notice that the the square brackets here are on the same line as a test. That's perfectly fine. NetLogo doesn't care where you 
break lines at all, it knows that uh, the commands will start wherever the square bracket starts after the last test, and uh, the uh, commands that belong to the if will end where the next closing square bracket is. Here we have, if in this particular circumstance, we have if the uh, turtle uh, x score is less than 12, or it happens that its color is blue or both, then the commands are done. But if neither of them are true, then the commands are skipped. You can also group with parentheses. Make sure that these are parentheses and not these square brackets. The square brackets are very special in NetLogo. Um, so here we have a situation in which we check whether, whether the turtle's color is either green or blue and that his x-score is greater than zero. So if his x-score is uh, greater than zero, then we automatically do this. If his color is either green or blue, um, we, ha we have to have at least one of these two to be true, and him being on the right-hand side to execute the commands over here. Here's an example of not equals to. Notice that around the um, Comparison is always a space, and around the OR is always a space, but you don't need a space around the parenthesis. Here's an example of not. Uh, if his color is green or his color is blue, then this entire expression turns out to be true, but we turn it upside down with not, and we only do that if his color is not green and not blue at the same time, then we do these. We can also inside the body of, for instance, inside the body of the commands of an if, have another if, or another if else. And within the body of that, yet another if, or if else. We can nest these. So here's a more complicated example, in which we ask whether the uh, turtle's um, x score is less than 8. If it is less than 8, then we go inside this body and do that. But if his x score is not less than 8, we skip all of these and immediately go to here. Inside this, if we if we end up, if his x score is less than 8, then we test whether his x score is in fact greater than 3. And if yes, then blue. If not, then brown. So here we're really effectively asking whether, whether um, his x coordinate is between 3 and 8, then he is blue. Uh, but if it's less than 3 or less than or equal to 3, then uh, his uh, color is going to be brown. Now, if his x coordinate is greater than 8, we go here, because that's this test over here. We go to the false part over here, and then we test um, if his x score is even f larger than that. If it's larger than 12, then we turn ourselves green. But if it's between 8 and 12, well, there are no commands for that, and so we don't do anything. All right. Um, there is a web page in the text below this video that contains uh, this uh, uh, similar indication of what the syntax is. You should take a look at that and do the exercises.